Hey guys, Aaron here from the Whirly Bugger Fly Company bringing you your weekly river report uh, as we start into the third week of October. Uh, water is low and very clear. Uh, it's been on the warm side, cool mornings, uh, really warm afternoon. So the weather's been comfortable and nice to be out here. <clears throat> A fair amount of traffic on the river. Um, fishing has been pretty good uh, early morning dry dropper uh, nymphing afternoon certainly uh, dry fly had a couple of reschedules so there is a little bit of availability um, if you call and check with us we may be able to get you out um, it's not a lot of days, but there were like uh, two or three uh, left for this month that are still available. Um, so if you haven't gotten a trip and you were thinking about doing one, feel free to call the shop. One of those days may work for you. Just as a reminder, uh, when you're out here, the salmon uh, are spawning or have spawned. The mindful of them uh, watch out for the reds uh, they're really easy to see when you uh, see clean spots in the river uh, where they've dug their reds try to avoid those as much as possible adult salmon on these reds right now it's kind of hard to see there but uh, anyhow this whole entire corner here is uh all salmon reds with spawning salmon and uh, salmon that are have already spawned so quite a few of them sitting here so when you're out here wade fishing the salmon reds are very simple to see they're big clean patches of gravel uh, where the algae and rocks have been turned over from the salmon digging their their uh, nests with their eggs so if you're out walking wading you know walk around those above them below them if you're in a boat you know when you're anchoring in shallower water you know be be conscious of what what your surroundings are you know it's pretty neat i've lived here my whole life and i've never seen sockeye spawning in the main stem of the yakima river so obviously you know they're making a comeback here we want to keep it that way but at the same time we want to do our part protect the fish not only the salmon but the salmon make the biomass in the river better which therefore makes the trout fishing a lot better so it's a win-win uh, for the river in general but we have to do our part and make sure that we are not walking over the reds, through the reds, or anchoring our boats on the reds. If you're with a guide service and you look over and your guide is anchored on a salmon red, you are not with a professional guide service. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to give the pro shop a call. Insects right now, October caddis, crane flies are kind of wrapping up. Um, stone flies, a few granums kicking around in the uh, afternoon, and uh, that's pretty much it insect-wise. Hope everyone has a fantastic week. Hope to see you out here. Tight lines.